Today we're playing FTL for a pirate boarding run as the Basilisk. Uh, this is Type B layout of the Mantis ship, unlocked by doing a ton of boarding and killing of the enemy crew uh, in Type A of the layout. This ship has no weapons on it, as you can probably see, so it is bound to be interesting. We're going to be doing a boarding run with our Captain Blackbeard. I unfortunately can't fit in the right number of characters, so he's just Blackbeard, uh, or Blickbeard. And then his first mate, Neckbeard. Uh, which, unfortunately, I can't fit in the right number of characters again, but that is Blackbeard and Neckbeard to you. I also have a whole list of piratey themed names to go on as we uh, continue our majestic journeys through space. We do have double shields on this ship. I just want to give it a quick look so that I know what I'm doing, because I've never actually played as this ship before, uh, although I am uh, a professional gamer. All right, we commence our adventure. Uh, I, I probably put a fade there. This is our second run because our entire crew got teleported away um, horribly. We embark on our journey through the stars toward what lay next? Uh, who knows? Uh, but we have, okay, this is not bad. A distress beacon and then two stores. Although I've been getting so many bad early stores, we do need some sort of weapon system to do maybe something. If we were to go here, then back up here and hit the distress, that might work, but I think distress, store, then make our way through the galaxy looks a little bit better. Now, selling all of our early, okay, here we go. Uh, shoot at the rocks, cool, free stuff. Sweet, free scrap to begin with. Uh, ooh, and another distress beacon. All right, I will go to the store. There's a lot that we can sell here. Our defense drone, as well as um, the mantis. Mantis pheromones are basically useless. Uh, so I'm just going to immediately get rid of them. Charge laser. Laser charger. Not really my favorite beam. We could take it because it's just something. Charge two times. Charge times six, though it would need 12 for two shots. That's not really a very good deal. Burst laser mark two is ideal. Mm. Johnny Maloney. Honestly, sounds like a real life, like bandit outlaw. So I'm gonna take him because I need some type of captain to hold down the ship while my mantis people get uh, on board the other ship. I want to get them boarding right away. You know, get their combat skills and experience up. And I think. You know, considering that we had two early stores, we're going to be waiting a while before we get anything else. So let me go ahead and just prepare for a potential automated ship encounter, which we... I keep struggling with these things. They're very difficult. Um, very terribly difficult. If I go ahead and buy that teleporter second level, I will actually stand a chance in combat. And hopefully not get my entire crew zapped away. So I'm going to do that immediately. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's good. Okay, keep moving our way through the galaxy. Explore the, uh, we will explore the asteroid field. Cool. A little bit better RNG here we've been getting. Had pretty horrible RNG in the last couple of runs, so I'll accept this. Thank you, FTL. So often your run is determined by the RNG, I regret to say. Although you can shift it and influence it. All right, there's enough to explore out beyond in the wastes of space that I feel satisfied with this. Uh, do not, oh, wait a minute. Uh, research station, small laboratory fire gun. Definitely don't send in the crew. I don't think we would do better by docking and trying to rescue the survivors. I mean, we're born to kill people, so I don't think this will work, but also I think we'll just lose a crew member. Firebert the thank you very much for the three subs appreciate you also for the sub yourself thank you I'm gonna just leave you need to accept it when there is an event that is probably not gonna be good and just not take the risk because otherwise wherein lay the skill in FTL uh, uh, definitely not sending over a crew member. Okay, this is the type of fight that we want. This is good. Send over our crew 
yonder. We would like to encounter them in a place where we will encounter one enemy first. So I'm going to go straight for the pilot. Uh, because it's probably just one guy in there. Great. After that, we go straight for the weapons, because we want to take that out. So we've given our own people an unfair advantage in this fight. We're going to need to be in there for the explosion. We did take one missile hit, but honestly, we got a rock man out of it. Great. Good deal to me. Do we keep him on board our ship, or use him as a boarder? I could use him in case if we encounter any Zoltan, so that he can kind of tank the hits. King. A good name for a rock. Or maybe like... Mineral. Minerals, Marie. They're min He's a mineral, Marie. Maloney? Actually, Maloney we will, we will rename to J JV Duns. JV Duns. I still like that name, JV Duns. Nice. Healthcare. Raw King. I think we do keep him with the borders, because if we don't get anyone better, like if we don't get another Mantis, he would be a good backup. And it's nice to be able to have somebody to hold down a room in the enemy ship. See, he's got 150 HP. Our man Mantis... Mantis... Men have... Nah, uh, not as much health. But they are better at fighting itself, so that is helpful. Now, I kept waiting around for uh, stores the last time, but we kept taking a lot of damage... Lots of damage. So I'm thinking... What if we just went straight in for like two dodge this time? That gets us up from 10 to 20% dodge. I don't like it because it's like a chance of being able to dodge. Cloak would be nice too, just to avoid the first round. But I mean, it looks like we're going to get to the end of the sector without doing anything else. Ooh, I don't like this. Uh, fire is very bad. Let's go ahead and s we will leave our rock man here just to put out any f no I will just open up my ship. Let's do that instead. Open up the entire ship aside from wait a minute, we could just do this uh and then that. And then let's leave this room not open to the elements. Here we go. Open up these. Cool. Uh also whoops. Don't open up those. Okay, teleport time. Unfortunately, though, I just am beginning to realize that all of the rooms on the enemy ship are only too wide, so let's do this. Uh, Rockman, you stay there, but I'm still going to leave the doors open. Uh, you two are going to go ahead and board. Let's do the pilot again, just because... There's bound to be just one person in there. Yep, cool. It is a Mantis pilot. That's kind of bizarre. You rarely see that. Rarely do you see that. Honestly. Not a good look. Not a very good look, having a Mantis as a pilot. Alright, that guy is fighting against Neckbeard over there. Blackbeard took a hit in that fight, kind of. Okay, now there's an NG in that room. I don't like that, but who is he going to fight? Okay, he is going to fight Blackbeard, so let's get those guys out of there really quick. Wait for this thing to recharge. Give it a minute. Send you into the med bay, and then maybe we could get you back for a quick kill on that NG, because they don't have a med bay, and we we're just about to take out that ship. Our people do heal very fast in this type of fight. Good, that did work for us. Ah, uh, then we're going to have to repair that as well. Okay, get back in there now. Get back into the pilot bay. Good. Take out that NG fast. Very squishy crew here to be had. Alright, let's close back up the doors. Bring my people back. Send the rock man back out to repair the shields. And then bring my crew back. Woo! Another successful day has gone by in space! In space, you can't tell whether it's- Ah, wait a minute, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, whatever, we'll open up the doors again. I guess I should have jumped like a second earlier, but whatever. I digress. Whatever that means. Fire out. Time to jump. Uh, we will attempt to... 
have a journey through the rest of the solar system. All right, stumbling across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. Uh, okay, these people are trying to immediately escape the villains. Uh, unfortunately, oh, the rock man is very slow. Hang on a second. No, don't go this way. Go that way. Okay, go through this side, please. Blackbeard, get some health there before we go. Okay, and we're going to send all three of them away to the room that's adjacent to their engine. We will go in first for the weapons, but we need to take this out completely uh, before they escape, because it would be very bad if they escaped. And we will all perish horribly if they do. Like, we need to power down their engines, although I think we can kill their entire crew faster than that, assuming that this is the whole crew. There shouldn't be any four crew members here. Sweet. Man, that rock man was a great early pickup. That's what you need in this run. You need an early extra combatant, because this ship... Like, four man... man... men in your ship? is stupid OP, although I would like to keep the rock man over here. Maybe on like doors or something. Rock men are good for door subsystems. Doors and cameras. Rock men are just kind of weird. I'm not really particularly sure what I like them for best. Ideally, I don't really want him on any type of skilled position. They are unskilled laborers. Ah, uh, the exit is there. Okay, I think now we start saving up money for an actual weapon system. We need something else in case if we fight an automated ship. Oh, cool. A quest. Very exciting. Very official. Firebomb. Ooh, firebomb strategies, too. I haven't done those yet. Investigate the intelligent life form. You, blink. you land a small shuttle in an enormous field, and it only occupies a small, brightly colored, six legged horse leg. Uh, no, these are mantis. Uh, yeah, this is basically always a bad event. We are not going to take any of these back. Not the best RNG here. Uh, although this is nice and mantis controlled, I think we go to the abandoned one because this looks like a good line up here. Not a huge fan of the nebulas, but it's pretty good. All right. We are jumping again. Hotkey J. Whoops, I don't know that. Okay, cool. We'll head straight for the quest because, uh, one, two, three. Yeah, this will be a decent lineup. Ooh, rock crew member. Yeah, diversity. Ooh, go diversity. Leaves false signal at sector start to delay rebels one jump. Cool, so we have a little bit more time, it seems. I will bide my time and wait for the uh, fleet to come through. Attempt to harvest some uh, scans of Lanius' vessel. It appears to be navigating a rich... Um, okay, Lanius are not really a very good enemy for us to attack right now because there's no oxygen on board their ships. We could go in with a boarding party, but we're probably going to take some damage, so I think I'm just going to harvest some for myself, and they are not happy about that. Okay, I will immediately go in with my boarding party then, and we have literally no other way of defending ourselves because if I send my crew over there, they will all immediately die. Um, what I could do, actually, assuming that the Lanius don't try to kill them all, I think I'm just going to do it with the... I'm going to do it because I like to take a chance... Should I do it? No. Uh, we probably won't win otherwise, though. I'm going to send my guys in for the shield and then teleport them back. Mm -hmm. You know what? No, I'm not going to do it with the mantis. The mantises are just too... I got to see what happens if I put in the rock man. The rock man will definitely be able to come back, though. Okay, I'm glad that I just sent over the rock man because <laughs> everyone else would have died. <laughs> Everyone else would have died horribly and this run would have been over, but that will actually give my border a chance to, like, interfere. Um, okay, Rockman, uh, run away. Uh, just keep running around in circles and trying not to get hit because now I need to away to distraction so that you don't die. He's just suffocating in there slowly, but honestly, he did his job pretty well. Look, just keep running away from the Lanius crew member while you hopefully survive another second, and then I'll bring you back on board our ship. 
We'll wait for your health to go down just a little bit more. Okay, come back, Mineral. More like Maneral. I'll rename him to that after this fight. He deserves it. Okay, please do not shoot our med bay. Good. It was very close to the med bay, though. Okay, you two go in there. Oh, no! No, the boarding drone is going for the... Oh, he's going for the wrong enemy now. Now we know that it's completely unsafe in there. Well, they don't have a med bay, though, so we may be able to just send over yet another boarding drone. Nope. We gotta go repair that. Um, okay, everyone go in for a repair. Everyone go in for a repair, and then we will send over another boarding drone. Unless if they try to escape before we can go. Uh, you know what? No, just jump. Just jump. I think I avoided taking damage from that. Lanius and automated ships we do horrible with, if you can already tell. Distraction buoys are... Eh, they're not that great. Ooh, an explosive replicator. This could be really useful. I'm gonna take it. And an automated reloader. These are both insanely powerful. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take this just because we basically couldn't do missiles until now. Which this makes them possible. Although we don't have any missiles on our ship. We could always sell it if we don't use it. And the automated reloader. I know they're not good right now, but we're already pretty powerful. And just the potential of maybe being able to use these in the future is enough for me. Because you basically get free missiles for the whole run. Um, ooh, that's a horrible deal. Wow, I, who would do that? Distress signal. Promise to help. What happened? Wait. Oh, I don't even know that event. That was awful. That was extremely awful. We were just trying to help. Whatever. A sad event. I don't know that event. I don't think that's ever happened to me. I have to go read that one more. I know we don't have any weapons, but if we do get, like, one missile weapon, it's, like, game over. Like, it's it's that good. Weapon reloader. The only thing we would need also would be weapon pre-igniter, and you basically just bombard them with missiles. Hmm. Hmm. I'm taking... It's a high-risk strategy. It is. It's high-risk, high-reward. Ah, uh, but then there are other stores here. Uh, no, these aren't really the events that I want to have happen. Like, intruders on board isn't really the ideal event for this ship. I mean, you do get combat experience, so that is nice. That much is nice, indeed. But still, I just feel like we could... I mean, I'm just so used to winning. I've won, like, every single run. Basically 100% until now. Okay, you two get out of there and you two go in. Much better. Good. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, everyone going for some health care. Celebratory health care. Hmm. I feel like I've already made so many mistakes. It's just so tricky to, like, navigate what to do with this ship when all of your future weapons are, like, undecided. The only thing you have is your crew. And even your crew is a little bit iffy if they'll even survive. You know what I mean? Like, it's a... I hate... There's something... I, I like this ship when it when it goes well. It goes really well. But when it goes bad... Yeah, it goes really bad, too. We do have drones. I guess the other thing, too, to be fair, is... I never really use drones. Yeah, like, we've just had so many combats with the wrong types of chip. Where are all these Lanius coming from, anyway? It's a little annoying. Like, Lanius basically can't do anything with that. So what we do, what ends up happening is that we miss out on all the good early game events. And we wind up just not being able to do much. Okay, I'm going to go send over a boarding drone because I think these guys have four crew members. Cool. So he's fighting against the boarding drone. Um, 
Ooh, I don't like this. We have our shields down for right now. But we should be able to basically just destroy this ship with like a one-two punch. Wait a second. Uh, kill him. Good. Entire enemy crew dead. That's how this strategy is supposed to work. Like, basically just get the whole crew down. You want to fight pirates and rebels to start. Oh, whoops. We have no oxygen on our ship. Uh, send in the minerals. And why not? Get a little bit more repair experience for right now. Mm. Alright, I'm ready for my oxygen. Nice, nice. Equipping some kind of weapon. I, we don't have any weapons. I wish we did. <laughs> Everyone's giving me good tips. I can't... I wish I could use them. I don't have any. <laughs> Why don't you just buy better weapons? We don't have any money. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay, cool. We stripped some materials from the Lanius vessel. We just aren't... We had, like, all Lanius ships in Section 2. That's so bad. Okay, cool. Another rebel fight. I guess I could be a little bit more discerning about, like, which fights we're getting into with which types of aliens, but there's just so many we've missed. Okay, I will go in and I'll send over a boarding drone as well. We're doing pretty well with these boarding drones, at the very least. Oh no, our boarding drone got hit by their, uh, defense mechanism. Which just honestly delays it. That's not that bad at all. <laughs> we weren't even in any danger. Our crew is just so freaking dominant. Okay, now is what I was talking about. This is going to be insane. Now we have an S-bomb, which stands for small bomb. Uh, probably. I'm not honestly sure. But, uh, maybe it does. And if it does, that's great. Because now we can have 50% chance of not using it. It'll reload super fast. So we basically just bomb the hell out of the enemy ship. Come back and, like, they're, they're toast. I think we just won the run now. <laughs> that was all I needed. That's the reason why I took those things before. Um, we effectively have 14 missiles now, statistically speaking. So we can just use missiles, like, a lot. Uh, go back to crew saved positions. I would probably be comfortable upgrading our ship, although... Zoltan controlled, Zoltan controlled. Not really much of a choice here, so I'll just do that. Sexy bomb, yeah. Hmm, I think we go distress then to the store. Yeah, we have good health on our ship, though. We didn't take any major damage in the first section, and that was really what I was looking for. Uh, no, ignore. Never go down to investigate. Um, too dangerous. Uh, I think we're going to a store right now. Yeah. Alright, store. I'm willing to accept this store. If they have a better missile of some sort, I'm willing to take it. Shield charge booster. Wouldn't be bad. Wouldn't be bad. Uh, although what I'm mainly afraid of here is missiles. That was the one thing that happened. Because we did get that in the last playthrough, but it wasn't much of a help to us. We definitely need more fuel, too. Yeah, I think we just buy the fuel. Looking at our fuel stores right now, they're just so bad. Fuel was the silent killer of our last game, after all. I think if we do that... And then what? Maybe we double down on crew, because our crew is so strong. So strong is our crew right now. And we just get another crew member for boarding right now. That might just push us over the edge. Or it might be too crazy to work. Uh, mm, what do I do? That gives us enough for our boarding drone. Yeah. Yeah, he's also good at fighting. Good point. Okay, we will have him as a boarder. You know, even if I get um, if I get more mantis later on in the game, then great. But right now, let's just take a bird in the hand, a bird in the hand. Clone bay and backup DNA. I'm not a huge fan of them, sadly. I wish I liked them more. 
Uh, we don't have the ion cannon from that. Nothing is working. <laughs> I don't really like any of our stuff. Oh, cool, but the asteroid field was really lucky here. I'm pretty sure these people won't be able to get through our defenses, like, at all. Ooh, this could be a good opportunity. Wait a minute, I might want to milk this. Uh, hmm. Milk. Hmm. They don't have a backup DNA. We could get somebody to really get good with shields here. Um, I have an idea. Uh, yeah. Go. Let's exploit this. We're going to exploit the hell out of this. Okay, Kirkner, you're no longer going to be a border. Mineral, you're also no longer going to be a border. Let's go ahead and put them here. We save these cruise positions. And when it looks like they're getting ready to take off, we kill their engines. Or actually, let's just go ahead and kill their engines right now. Hopefully, keep teleporting our guys back, and we exploit the, div the, living, the diving ley lights out of this section. Okay, we might take a lot of damage here from an eng uh from one of their guys exploding. Oh, wait, I accidentally just killed them both. I was thinking they had a third crew member. Uh, that was too bad. Do you still get experience for shields when you're there, though? Man, I was going to exploit that. Oh, well, never mind. Come back. At least they had a lot of scrap. That would have been very exploitable if they'd had a uh, clone bay, but they didn't, so sadly I am just alone again. Yeah, it's too bad that once the battle's over you don't just, like, level up in shields, though then it would be stupid easy to level up in shields all the time. Alright, everyone's back on boarding then. Never mind, forget about all of that. Back to the plan. After all, you are very slow and get in the way. I would- I, I was kind of starting to like our like, uh, multi-alien boarding crew, after all. Willing to live with that. Participating in the study! Oh, wait a minute. Uh, what kind of study was this? Um. Okay, it's a mantis and a slug person. Uh, let's kill them really fast. And then we'll go ahead and board their ship, because their, shi their ship shouldn't be able to do too much to us. They'll probably teleport back, and then we kill them. Yeah, just take out both of my shields, and then that's it. Cool. Um, <clears throat> mineral. And neckbeard. We could train somebody in shields right now. I think we'll just keep boarding normal. Uh, yep. Go for the pilot. Ooh, it's a rock. Oh, and a slug. Wow, very nice. See, the human and the rock are very good at taking a hit. Or really, just the rock, but the human is a pretty decent meat shield, too. Okay, that was a really good reward. I know it always looks like I get good RNG, but that's because we edit out the runs where I die horribly and have bad RNG. <laughs> this is the fifth attempt today. Uh, we were not doing too particularly well in the last one. Hey, Kimval, doing pretty well today. How about you? DLC NG crewman was insane to have on my flak gun only run. DLC NG crewman? What do you mean? Ooh, 140 in a store opportunity. Might be able to get a better weapon here. Um, Having an actual offensive strategy other than... Nope, we won't get one. Never mind. Uh, Defense drone mark 2 is not my favorite. Uh, yeah. Defense Scrambler. Could be not that bad. Especially for our boarding drone. This has been useful to me in the past. But I'm not sure if it's my favorite thing of all time. I'm feeling like cloaking here is honestly going to be the best. Because our ship is extremely vulnerable to, um... Like, missiles. So if we just do this for maybe one round, we go in, we kill the enemy ship, that's basically all missiles averted. Not even worrying about our evasion, you know what I mean? Like, that's a waste. Ooh, that is our final system slot. Ooh. 
Really? I do like mind control in this run too. Yeah, do they have any good crew? It's valid. Ooh, there is another one who's good. Ah. Though, you know, I'll, I already have a pretty good boarding crew. And I feel like that in the last run, we were just treading so much water because we kept taking so much hull damage from missiles. So I'm thinking this is basically our answer to everything that is causing us damage right now. I think the Mantis is fun, but I don't think that it's a smart move. I would normally do it, except that we just lost all of our Mantis in the last run. And our crew is already just so much stronger than them. I'm going with cloaking, sadly. Uh, I'm not even happy about this decision. And the other thing that I don't like is not being able to do mind control. Uh, although I'm just going to have to fight myself in the very end, and that is kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see. I think we have to buy another power bar to, you know, handle that as well. I know. Boo. Boo. I'm sad. I'm more sad about it than any of you because that was the run that I had envisioned. Well, maybe I'm about as sad as you, but, you know, I've got to do it for the good of the ship. For the good of the ship. All right. Uh, I don't really like this one in particular either because our S-bomb is just not going to be very good at getting through anything. I think I'm just going to leave my crew there. It's not going to make a huge difference. Okay, cloaking. Oh yeah, we were only up to 80%. I forgot about that. Uh, okay, uh, human. You there, human. There we go. Give us another 5% evasion. We need to survive one or two more missiles. There we go. We did avoid one. See, we're avoiding hull damage because that's really like the, the enemy in disguise for most of this run. Cool, cool. Maybe human, you maybe you stay there, human. Okay, I think the rest of us will board. The rest of us will board on their shields. Oh, we got a cloak again. Somehow we avoided that, but that's like three or four hull damage that we've avoided already. And we got another Pegasus missile from it. Amazing. Cool. See, now it's going to start to stack. I know it's not as much fun, but eventually we'll be able to pick up more Mantis later. Uh, I guess the one thing that really remains that gives me fear is mind control, because my crew are going to be very strong. But this is a bru uh, this is not an easy ship either. I actually prefer the two border ship to be honest, because you have, I believe, more room for weapon systems. Yes, believe it or not, I do get sad from time to time. Hmm, I think we go here, and then we try to get to the non-nebula sector beyond. Cloak is just... It, cloak, cloak is good. You can't do a run without Cloak, in my opinion. Ooh, a healing burst. Probably not the... the uh, might be useful as like a last ditch utility, but just the charge time is way too high. I think we can go one, two, and three, I believe. Or so help me God, then I will die here in the wilderness. Oh, that wasn't the type of ship I wanted to fight. Um, what do I do? I believe I can still send over the rock man. Yeah, never send over four to these things. That's how I insta-died the last time. Um, okay, I will do an S-bomb. No, oh, no, you know, I'm not really in any danger right here in this fight. Okay, actually, if we can train you two to farm this fight, that would be acceptable. Hmm. All right. Yeah, they are literally incapable of damaging us here. So let's go ahead and farm the rest of our crew. If we can get human man to be better at engining, and if we can get other people good at other things, um, let's just go ahead and destroy their engines. Cool. Okay, so now we just don't fight them. This is how we farm our skills in this game, and hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit more experience throughout this fight. 
27%. See, our shields have risen again. Um, although we will dodge. We don't really gain any from that beam because it's not really taking down any of, any of the shields, but every time that the shields recharge, we get better. And just every time that that thing repairs, we shoot it again. Okay, I'm going to handle this for a second, and then when I get back, uh, our sh our crew should be much more fully leveled. Okay, so we ran out of missiles, unfortunately, despite my awesome missile strategy. But look at this, we've got everybody so much more experience. It's been recommended to me so many times to just farm these on fights, so I finally started doing it a little bit more. Better piloting. And potentially a backup if we need better engine skills or shields. Got a little bit of experience here. We'll go back to our assigned positions, though. I don't want these guys in those positions for good, but it's good to have a couple of backups in case if anything ever happens to your crew members. So we will continue to jump. 48 scrap. Uh, yeah, we can't really do anything else with these. I gotta sell these later on, so we'll have plenty of scrap, but we just don't have any real answer to, like, a Lanius ship right now. We don't have any real weapons to speak of. Uh, so that is bad, is what I'm trying to say. Let's go straight in on this ship, because we won't get hit by these defense drones. We'll go right for their weapons. Four guys in their weapon room on an NG ship is pretty brutal. Like, they don't stand a chance here. This should be a very, very quick and easy fight. Man, just like that. That's insane. Do we get anything for that fight? I'm pretty sure we got no reward. Here I was preaching the goodness of, like, keeping the enemy ship alive. Sometimes you do get cool stuff. Like, you get a crew member, but sometimes just nothing. We just basically ate them. I think we might be able to get one more, but I don't really even like nebulas, so. Oh, do we get the 30 scrap? Maybe I just clicked through it too fast. Whoops-a-daisy. Uh, slug home nebula. Slug wouldn't be bad here. A slug crew member if we did manage to find one. I'll take that over an uncharted nebula. Ooh, an empty distress call. Sweet. Cool. Maybe an opportunity at some scrap. Okay. I will attack the Mantis ship. We are better off killing our own and potentially getting one of our own on board our ship, methinks. Uh, four people into their shield base should... Ooh, and they got an NG on board, too. Very, very nice. Very nice. We'll save back up our missiles and our drone parts if we can as well. Uh, okay, they're definitely cloning themselves right now, so I'm going to go head into that area. Shields basically won't make a difference here, so let's go ahead and just destroy their weapons and their clone bay. Need these things gone. Mantis defeated. Uh, you see, we begin, we are now grateful, but there is uh, currently liquid assets to... Okay. Uh, it looks like we're about to engage the slugs. I'm just going to leave them because I don't want my crew to all just insta-die, so I don't know what could happen there. That looks like it could potentially be bad, though. It's so easy to lose your whole crew here. It's very frustrating if it does happen, so I don't want it to happen to me again. It has happened to me. Was it twice today already? You see what I'm saying? Like, that could happen in this fight? Very scary. Very scary. We could have died. In real life. All right, slug transport ship uh, station. Uh, we've been waiting for a customer for ages. Care to see our wares? Ask to see the goods. Okay, cool. Basically, a free store. We need. We accept no trades, coupons, or purchases. Our final order set understood. We hold no liability for. Not a problem. Great. Let me show you our wares. I mean, I thought they were gonna scam us for sure. They are very scammy. The slugs, aren't they? They're like wonderfully scammy. Ooh, hull repair. Although for the amount that you could just repair on your own, it seems kind of a waste. Ooh, weapon pre-igniter. Only because I like it so much, I'm taking the weapon pre-igniter. 
the weapon pre-igniter is like the best thing in the entire game. Heal beam, I think we're already so good that it's just not necessary. I think we take weapon pre-igniter because you always take weapon pre-igniter whenever it's available. Absolutely. And we put that on Pegasus because Pegasus is great, but it has a long charge up time. Now all we need to do is power Pegasus and basically it's run over. S-Bomb is kind of weak in comparison, although this doesn't require as much power, so maybe I'll keep it around. Actually, I don't really see myself reverting back to this, but I might need it for a couple fights here, so I'm stuck with it. Not repairing. Nope, I'm not doing it. I know this is a very controversial run. A lot of my decision-making you question here, naturally. I know what's best for us all. I am, after all, Captain Crunch. Oh, we forgot to rename him. Captain Crunch Kirkner. Terrible name. Captain Crunch and the Serial Killers. CPT Crunch. Captain Crun. JV Dunn's Mineral. There we go. Continuing on our jaunt through the galaxy. I think just... We try to get to the back of this star system ASAP because I hate nebulas. They take away your power. Awful things. Awful things. Have I seen the space station FTL? I have not done any of the FTL uh, mods, unfortunately. Still enjoying the vanilla, and then I will. Heavily damaged. I'm kind of milking the game before you have to make content. Milk. <laughs> I said milk again. Ooh, free crew member. You will be useful in the war to come. Okay, good. I would take another 5% evasion over anything else. Definitely not having you as a boarder. Okay, uh, uh... What was it? Beard Beard? That's a good name. Yeah, we have Blackbeard, Neckbeard, Beard Beard. Beard B. What about the other beards? I think we... Uh, but if there's a store there, maybe it will be something good. Oh, I think we can kind of go here, 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 here. Ooh, that's pretty nice. If there is a store, I'm willing to visit several more nebulae. Unfortunately, there was nothing there. Uh, oh well. The other thing we're starting to run low on- fuel, fuel. We just haven't gotten any fuel this run. Maybe that happens when you board enemy ships, though. Oh, I don't really like this at all. Um, you two go over there. I just- I'm not even going to be able to board the entire enemy ship. Their ship is not large enough for us to board. Bad. How- what is our level in combat? Okay, we're both at level one very solidly. These are good slugs to get level ups on because they're not, you know, that much stronger than average in combat. It's a good fight for us. And we get tons of scrap from these people. Okay, there's some fuel now. I, I stand corrected. Actually, I'm sitting right now, so I sit corrected. Cool. I mean, that's how these fights are supposed to be. When you win, you're supposed to win swiftly and surely. When you lose, though, in these, there's really no backup strategy. Or if they, like, bork your ship in some other way, that's horrible and you didn't expect. I think that this is enough money for the store. I think we just... No, you can never have enough money for the store. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you're right. I did forget about the weapon. Uh, they're going to destroy one of our systems, but I don't want to just give away our scrap. I'm going to have them break our oxygen system. Wait, what did that even affect? You suck. Sorry about that. I did forget about the weapon pre-igniter. Thank you for that. Thank you. Hang on a second. Why are you not... There we go. Okay, everyone go. Oh, it's permanently ionized. We have to win this really fast. Did I just kill us all? Whoops, I shouldn't have done any of that. Well, we're going to kill them faster than we run out of oxygen. 
Ooh, they also took out our uh, teleportation bay. Well, you guys will be fine on board the other ship. Okay, good. Let's get you back here. Uh, good. Our oxygen is now back online. Phew. Maybe that wasn't so smart, but I figured if they were slugs, they were probably going to be pretty squishy in combat, so... Here, just justifying my actions after the fact. I've not even... I've totally forgotten that we have a cloak at this point in time. Although I think I've learned from the last playthrough, don't be so eager to sell off all of your systems that you're not using, because they still might come in handy later on. Okay, I guess this store is a slightly better option. Or if we go to this one, then we could see both. Okay, yeah, let's do that. This game has made me a lot better with decision making, because there's a lot of, like, marginal decisions where you need to come to a decisive conclusion and be very, like, confident in whatever you decided. Yeah. I think we'll still keep the explosive replicator, automated reloader, and this is an insane weapon combo. If we get, like, a... Any type of big missile, we're set. I don't really love these crew members. None of them are particular. Oh, Chris Malat might be good. That's like a real person's name. Uh, I think I'd rather see what they have in the next store. Oh, there is mind control. Do, do we even have room for it, though? Nope, we don't have room for another weapon system. Uh, backup battery. Eh, it could be time for a backup battery. I think I'll take it. I need Chris Malat. Repairs. Ah, uh, what do I do? Um, I think we do a backup battery just because it's basically a no-brainer. Then we do... We're still so many sectors left. We've already got six crew members, so I think we leave the extra two as spaces because you can get really high-level crew members later on. Um, but let me go ahead and just see. What are you? Beard B. Uh, actually, you might do better on shields. Save. Yeah, because we already have the stealth, so why do I need him on evasion too? Store. Um, FTL drive. Everyone's like Chris Malat. He's already a member of the family. No, we aren't adopting him. I ran out of fuel the last run, and I'm getting the heebie-jeebies. It's upsetting me. Uh, we do have backup power. That's like cheap power that will help us. I think we need to... You know, I don't think it would hurt to use up one missile per fight. Because right now, look, if we face a Zoltan or something like that, we're in bad shape. So I'm going to go ahead and buy two more... Wait a minute, no, undo, because we have another store coming up. We will go to the second store, but I'm this close to buying two more weapon system power. Just because Zoltans will be bad news for us. Oh my gosh, look, another, um, border. Hang on a second, do we have... Look, Captain Crunch is already getting so good at fighting, and Mineral is great at fighting too. What will I tell their families if they're off the team? Hermes. Is Hermes better? Standard but powerful. No, I think Pegasus is better. Ah, it's a burst laser mark one. I don't really like that. I honestly kind of prefer the other med bay just because it's a little bit simpler. Yeah, I'm going with what I was thinking. It's a burst laser mark one. Um, weak system. Extra strap required for... Oh, I've never actually had this. This ship is really not meant to get any weapons. Yeah, 40 for the first one. That's insane. Wow. Very crazy. We're even going to need to buy another... Pa oh, wait a minute. No, we don't need our med bay powered up. Never mind. Okay, give me a pre-ignited Pegasus. That's great. That's fantastic. This is a really strong ship at the very beginning of combat. It's not very good for prolonged or sustained fights. But it's okay for now. I think what we do next is sell our S-bomb, most probably. But before I get rid of that, I just want to get some more fuel because we had bad stuff happen with fuel and missiles if we're going to be reliant on them. Each missile that we buy is basically worth two, statistically. Then we sell the S-bomb. I don't think we need it. I just had such horrible luck with fuel. Now I think I'm letting it get to me. 15 fuel seems like plenty now. Okay. 
And then, what do we buy next? What do we buy next? Maybe more power. Power is just about always useful. We could get a better cloak. I think we just wait and we observe and we watch and we discover. S-bomb is good. Don't get it twisted. That's true. But Pegasus also launches two shots. And S-bomb still can miss. Although it is... It's not really my bomb of choice. I'm not, you know, throwing so much shade on the S-bomb, but... Not really my personal choice. It doesn't work for me. Maybe you like it. We don't need to like the same things. Uh, do I want an NG controlled or civilian? Uh, I actually don't want to be in another nebula. That looks pretty bad, so I think I'm going to go civilian this, and then I'll go like a pirate one. Pirates are okay with me. Ah, uh, yeah, S-bomb doesn't get countered by defense drones. That's valid. Yeah, well. Mm, I think we go one, two, and then another store. I'd still like to see if I could get a better weapon. Maybe some kind of laser here, because we do need better weapons for our mid. And nothing. Horrible luck in these. We really have had not. Ah, oh, just nothing, really, again? I guess I'm going to another store with nothing. And nothing at this store either. I'm just buying up the fuel that I used up. Okay, that's the last of the fuel that I'm buying for this entire run. Other than that... Ah, uh, what am I gonna do? It's six scrap for one of those. Oh, it's a stress beacon. No, I think that's good on missiles. I think now we just focus on boarding. Ooh, rock. NG. I think NG. Calm them down. Ooh, cool. Missiles. That's great. Okay, so that's effectively 24 missiles because we aren't going to, you know, we're going to use up half as many um, on average. But we keep trying to stay out of this nebula as long as possible. Uh, I think we can go one, two, and then go for it. Yep, that looks like a clear path. Or we could go there too. Either way is fine. Uh, 10 missiles for 30 scrap. Absolutely not. Horrible deal. Horrible, horrible deal. I know a scam when I see one. Okay, this is my least favorite of all of the fights. I hate it so much. Uh, I think... Uh, they're gonna hack us as well. Our cloaking... Well, our teleporting is basically totally unnecessary for this fight. I don't want to risk the lives of everyone. I've You've seen what happened in the last fights when I did that. Um, let's take down one of our engines. Let's go in with... Pegasus? We are going to shoot at their... At their weapons, because they could damage us. Yeah, and that, well, let's go ahead and see where the boarding drone winds up first, and then we'll send in Pegasus. Okay, they're going to... Great, that's an awesome thing to get hacked. Great. Okay, so since he didn't go there, let's go in with Pegasus on their weapons. Great. Look at Pegasus, everyone. Two missiles in one shot. Don't you like Pegasus? I personally like Pegasus a lot. It's one of my favorite... Um, Weapons of the game. And we could even wait for the weapons to gradually um, come back online as it self repairs while this uh, boarding drone keeps doing damage to it so we could farm our shields just a little bit. Get our, um, our beard beard a little bit more experience. Except that my entire ship is being ignited on fire so it might be opportune to destroy them now. I am beginning to realize, yep, that would probably be good. Let's just go ahead and keep that fire out. Uh, do go back in there and repair that room, though, the four of you. Actually, let me just not get the oxygen there. Everyone's going to run out of health very fast in there. Yeah, I'm not going to milk this one. We are in an environmental danger. Uh, and our mid bay is also offline. I just need to be careful there. Okay, I will indeed shoot Pegasus at this ship. Let's shoot at their engines. Great. Okay. Uh, get back into the med bay, please. 
Okay, cool. We got a lot of scrap for that, so I would say worth. Yeah, worth. Um. Oh, wait, are we still on fire? Okay, that's a very convenient room to have on fire, though. Nice. We just really haven't had any time to handle any other systems. Maybe it's because this ship completely lacks offensive gun capabilities from the beginning. It's like you spend so much time trying to figure out a strategy. Because that is arguably the thing that mostly depends on RNG in this game. I think that's what's held me up in these runs so much. I feel like I'm just finding the wheel every single time. Another solar flare. Okay, cool. Mantis. Uh, I actually do like fighting the Mantis. Cool. I think that is our required distribution. And now we will go... Ooh, I like these. Four in on weapons. That's nice. What levels are we at? Captain Crunch is getting good. Mineral is still improving. Neckbeard... Really, Blackbeard has taken the lion's share of the experience here. Oh no, they have a med bay. I'm shooting Pegasus at their med bay. Okay, cool. We killed the entire crew with a missile. I don't think that... I think those things either miss the entire ship or... I'm just trying to think. Did I put my entire crew's lives in danger there for a second? Maybe I did. No, I think that would have been like flak, right? It's just, there's so many easy ways to just yeet yourself out of the entire campaign in this. Like, boarding is such a risky strategy. It's fun, but it's also very high risk, indeed. We'll go to a store. 175 scrap is plenty. Ooh, store. self teleporting explosive for fire. Um... Ooh, this would have been interesting if we had the rock ship, if we had a bunch of rock borders, but I have, unfortunately, too many, like, mantis people in order to do this. Still just not that much fuel. I don't trust nine fuel. Ah, ha, ha. I've got to keep buying fuel. This feels so dumb. Whatever, though. Um, hmm. let's just see if there's any other stores nearby. Nope, no other stores. Okay, I am going to buy more defensive stuff for our ship now. So, we want to be able to get a boarding drone on in case if there's something wrong with the enemy ship. Uh, the cloaking, I think, was a great choice. That's going to come in handy more as we go. We've just been super fast in combat. We've already got our backup power, too. Um, I think for now... <sighs> Piloting has not been an issue. Interiors have not been an issue. Uh, there's not too much here. I could get more weapon systems, as I'll probably want. I think oxygen would also be decent. But I feel like shields is going to be more useful. I just feel very indecisive this whole run. I don't like that. Uh, if I, what is something that I don't want to face? A Zoltan ship would be pretty rough, or an automated ship. But for both of those, I still need more offensive capabilities. Yeah, everything else I feel pretty much fine against. It's just those two. Like we've been basically one tapping all the enemies. You come across a large trade station. Uh, uh, okay, search among the stores. See if someone will sell to us. Cool, we get some more stuff. 224 is just too high an amount of scrap. Okay, I'm going to buy something that I buy every single time. I'm going to buy the second level of oxygen, but that's it. Just because you don't want your ship's oxygen going totally offline. Uh, reject the offer. Okay, we've been doing really well, though, with just going against Mantis. I'm going to hold Blackbeard. They do have a bomb. I'm going to hold Blackbeard back, though. Only because I want everybody else to get a little bit more experience. Neckbeard and Mineral will go in. Although, are, am I putting their lives in danger by doing this? Maybe, maybe. Okay, Blackbeard, you go this time. Never mind. Is it burning on their ship? Do I hear burning? Oh, it's just an NG. We would have been fine. All right, maybe take out the weapon systems. And a rock. Look, everyone, it's Dwayne. 
Ooh, we're getting good piloting experience. And Blackbeard can really take a hit. Okay, 259 scrap. Now we should be able to get all the defensive systems that I wanted. Okay, I'm feeling finally good. I haven't felt good for like three hours. Finally, I feel good again. Oh, oh, I feel good. Oh. He is kind of a kill stealer. Does he get more experience for the ki the actual kill itself? I do believe he gets like a bit of a ping, right? Oh, serotonin rush. Yeah. Uh, Alright, we'll wait until we get into the beginning of the next sector for this. I am going to go to these nebulas just because I think there will be more good than bad in them, right? Famous last words. Okay, oh, not a good start already. Okay, um, ooh, mind control, but it's an NG is being mind controlled, so that's not so bad. We can cloak. I'm gonna go ahead and arrange for the boarding drone to begin with. Let's turn off our teleporters, turn on the boarding drone, and we'll use Pegasus to take down, um, how about their mind control to start? Cool, okay, so he immediately goes to the weapons, fantastic. More or less what I wanted, and we get a little bit of experience there. Although our shields are being ionized. But we have our cloak online, so that's fine. Cloak. Wait a minute, what just happened there? We just cloaked. Unacceptable. Yeah, we just cloaked. That's kind of odd. I don't know if our evasion actually had a chance. I think I was a little too slow on that. Ooh. Bad. Why did I do that? That was bad of me. This weapon pre-igniter is sweet. Okay, we won the fight, uh, albeit very slowly, because our boarding drone had to finish his job. I didn't want to waste missiles, though. Okay, so now we're going to go for two more engine and power bars, just because I think we need more dodge. Okay, so now we have a one in three chance of dodging. That's great. We could use a little bit more power, but we could just use our backup battery. What else could we use our backup battery for? Probably cloaking would be the best thing. We'll do one more and then be on our merry way again out of this galaxy. I need a store, though. I need better offensive capabilities for the final fights as we go uh, into them. Okay, let's go ahead and send our people out. Uh, ooh, I didn't get them in the room before. Oh, well, I think that this will actually be a good bonding opportunity. Bonding. Uh, for... Who is this? Oh, no, this is Blackbeard. Well, Blackbeard and Mineral should make pretty short work of them. Okay, we'll do it anyway. It's fine. All right, we have a rock. And, oh, another rock. This might not actually be good at all. Uh, bad thing. No. Please don't kill us. Although, I think in a fight against a full-level rock... Blackbeard should probably win that. Okay, get back to those cameras. Yep, he does. Indeed. I mean, he had some help from his other rock fan. But that's really what he wants. Okay, Blackbeard now, leave the room just because we want... ...ya boy to get some more experience. Although it... Ooh. Ooh. My favorite gun. Uh, actually, second favorite gun. I like burst laser a little bit better. I tried it out. I had a run where I had four flak guns. I, I did it outside of Twitch, sadly. Um, I got I happened to get really lucky in a run where I was trying to unlock stuff on my own. It was like playing the game a little bit on my own the other night. And uh, I got four flak guns, and I'm sorry. Oh, the Vulcan. Yeah, the Vulcan is honestly better. Combined with Burst Laser Mark II, though, it, it is, they are both quite amazing. Yeah, the Vulcan is, is like, basically straight win, though, when you get it. <laughs> Imagine if you could pick your own gun at the start. Probably get a little boring, though, because every run would just be the same. Yeah, Vulcan on its own can solo things, indeed. Okay, we'll go to the NG-controlled sector. Wouldn't mind another NG on our ship. Maybe, like, a high-level one if we could get one. Okay. Uh, 13 fuel left. That should be plenty. Although... This may actually be enough for the final boss battle. Like, in terms of weapons, assuming that we get this one powered up. 
still really not my ideal ship. Boarding is just such a niche thing that this ship is really good at, but when your boarding is down or doesn't work in some way, it's horrible. Horrible. Uh, I'm going to decline here because the missiles are more important than the drone parts for us now. I don't really like the options I'm getting here, but okay. Am I ever going to play Star Sector? I like Star Sector. I haven't played it in a while, though. Okay, uh, they aren't trying to escape. Cool. We've just saved so many drone parts here, too. Although I think my crew is more efficient at killing them than they are. Uh, I will send over the boarding drone now, though. What are they going to shoot? They aren't going to shoot a missile at us. Let me do backup power, and then I'm going to take off one from our engines. And put it onto a boarding drone. I just need more people helping. Ooh, Pegasus. Shoot their med bay. Wait a second. Wait for one more to go in. There we go. Wow, that was so fast. See what I said? Like, when we board, it's over. Game over. But if we for some reason can't board, it, like, we don't really have much of a backup strategy. <laughs> go, Blackbeard. Neckbeard. Whatever your name is. Ooh, Captain Crunch is almost as powerful as possible. This isn't even my final form. That was extremely clean. I, I now don't feel bad about using up drone parts either, because we just have such an excess number of them. This is a really bad Ion Star. I gotta wait until we get out of here, though. Okay, charge that up before our next jump. Another Ion Pulse? Okay, I guess I'll just go now, even with our shields that low. Not worried about fuel. Potentially... Ah, yes, another... We've had so many good Mantis ships this run, though. We did luck out in that way. Um, okay, I could always just cloak immediately. We will again board. Yeah, we'll do it. I mean, it is, after all, a boarding run. They all come in and fight. Ooh, it's three mantises. Were my guys even fully healed there? Ooh, I don't really like this. Because I can't really get them all out of that room if I have to. Though it looks like that they're winning by a lot, so I'm not too worried. But it's just a matter if they take one guy down to low health. Okay, they do have a cloning bay as well. Who is the healthiest among them? Okay, Blackbeard is very healthy and very strong. And... Neckbeard, you go in too, just because you're very good at fighting. They probably aren't going to clone very fast. Oh no, they did clone. They did manage to clone. Um, okay, he's going out the door anyway. <laughs> Go somewhere else. Yeah, just don't fight us. Uh, wait a minute. Okay, Blackbeard, go in there and fight him on your own. The uh, These other guys are not going to be able to cut it. Blackbeard is an insanely good combatant. Wait, Brockman, go back. Okay, whoever you are, you go back in there. Please do not clone another one of your friends. Okay, good. Ah, they got through one of our shields. Oh, well. Sweet. Okay, 73. Ooh, and a crew... Ooh, that was a great reward. Ooh, damn. That was really good. Now we can spend money on power. Oh, yeah. It's fantastic. Ooh. Warlord Mantis. Oh, in the multiverse mod? Ooh, that's kind of cool. Wait, what are you good at? You're good at piloting. Ah, literally not what I needed at all. Unacceptable. Go back to uh, engineering school. Just anywhere. Anywhere but here. Uh, our ship is not doing too particularly well in terms of repairs. I think before we go any further, I'm just going to go ahead and get a third level of shields. I don't see how I'm going to get through the rest of this game without a third and fourth level of shields. What would this cost me? 200 is still plenty in case if we come to a store, but... Uh, 
okay, I'll take it, just because I kind of... Three shields is absolutely necessary for the final boss fight, so I'm not going to chance it. What I don't see us using in the very end is our boarding drone. Okay, so we are coming to the final sector here. Let's just take a, a look at our ship overall and its uh, condition and systems and everything. We really need all these aux auxiliary systems still. We still need power. Um, I don't really play with drones, nor do I care about them. I would like two more weapon power. That's kind of necessary. Uh, I don't need any more of this. I don't need any more of this. I could use two more engines if I want, and I could use two more shields. You know, I think I'm just going to be happy with our weapons as they are. Let's go ahead and buy two more weapon. Before anything else kills us. If I miss something at a store, so be it. I'll be sad, but... This is going to be a, a good offense that'll function as a defense, because that much ship health I don't really trust. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna have to live with that. There's probably gonna be a store. I'll probably want something, but whatever. I think I did it for the good of the team. I put the team on my back. I do it for the coach. I do it for my team. There's never been a good Heisman Trophy speech, unfortunately. Wait a second, I have enough... Yeah, I have plenty of... Oh, a bribe! Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we do have enough crew. What do these guys have on... Okay, they have a bomb, but I could cloak, and they have a beam, and they have a laser, too. That's a decent bribe, though, too, but I think we could do even better and get even more scrap by attacking. I'm going in for the kill. Yeah, we're gonna go in. We're gonna kill them. Oh, wait a minute. They have just teleported aboard our ship. With NGs. <laughs> oh, my God. That was great. All right, whatever. Okay, die immediately. And we will turn and into our this is basically a suicide mission. Uh hang on a second. Oh, this is like the least threatening thing that anyone's ever done. It's like threatening to bake me a cake. Uh although we can't get to their weapons as fast. Let's go in with Pegasus and then try with Flak. Jeez, that was good. Didn't even hit him with one, unfortunately, but. Okay, they did manage to teleport. Oh no, one of them did die. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and good 97% dodge. Whoops, now we go ahead and power up our teleporter and we don't want to destroy their ship. We gotta be very careful not to do that, but let's go in and get their shields just because I think our boarding team is so much better than theirs that we could very easily win this. Okay, they did manage to bomb our ship. Oh wait, no, that was just an ion beam. Wait a minute, stop shooting them, stop shooting them. Our crew is on board there. Oh god, these people have upgraded doors. I kind of take that back. Oh, wait a minute, there's a guy in here. Just kill the last of their crew. Ah, no. He's going back to the med bay. Man, how dumb is he? No, stay in here and kill that man. And you stay in here and... Uh, he keeps running away. I could just bomb the room that I think he's in. I think I will do that. I won't... There's no danger of killing my crew by doing this. Nope, didn't kill him. Right, whatever. Uh, I don't want to do something stupid here, so I'm just going to bring my crew back. I feel like I'm just going to be a dumb guy... If I mess this up. Yeah, we'll just hit him with the flak. Keep doing it. Don't let him get away, though. Ooh, that's actually a great bribe. Six missiles. That's basically game over. Nice. Nice. Ooh, distress. Yeah, the Pegasus is amazing. Pegasus and flak is great. Great, great, great. Uh, what am I gonna do in this fight? Maybe I'm going to throw a boarding drone in there, too. That was the first time I encountered, like, good doors. So far, the doors have not been that good. Uh, I'm gonna throw in a boarding drone just because I can now for fun. 
We see where that ends up. Okay, I was gonna go for the weapons, but I don't like that landing spot. We'll just go in here and kill the rest of the crew. There are five crew members on this ship. Wow, that's a lot. Oh no, Neckbeard is pretty low on health. I didn't heal them after the last fight, did I? That was pretty dumb of me, wasn't it? Okay, they're going into their own mid bay too. Ooh, I don't like this. I don't really have one combat strategy. No, don't go for the O2. Go for that. No, Pegasus shoots for there, and then that shoots for that. Oh, you know what? Just shoot our own boarding drone. I don't really care. Am I going to kill my own people? Neckbeard and Captain Crunch, get to the next room. Uh, I don't like this. What have I done? I think I'm going to kill my crew. I've made a horrible mistake. Um, Mineral and Blackbeard. Well, Blackbeard is in that room. At least they've taken the flak off of them. Go back in. I think you can kill those guys. And I just lost a crew member. Beam them back. <sighs> who did I lose? Wait, who did I lose? Blackbeard and Neckbeard. Oh, I lost my human. No. It's okay. It's okay. We make mistakes. We make mistakes. We improve. We learn from them. I am sorry. I lost a human. It's okay. I lost three crew members in my last run, so this actually doesn't feel that bad. <laughs> we lost Captain Crunch. <laughs> Captain, Cr We are no longer Captain Crunch and the Serial Killers. <laughs> oh, God. Why? Why? <laughs> They were a very strong crew, like a surprisingly strong crew. You know, I think I need the third level of teleportation because I needed to be able to recall them faster than they... That was a huge crew, though, too. I didn't expect that many people. I thought it might be four. Also, the Zoltan was rough. Okay, this gives me enough missiles to run the rest of my life. Did we... No, we do have one more human. We... He was the only human boarder, though. I still think three borders is good enough, and this allows the experience to be just spread around a little bit less in a crazy way. That was almost, like, too diluted. I didn't even like it. Oh, wait a minute. Why did I just send two mantis to repair? Whatever. They'll get it done. No stores around here, eh? Oh, man, I really could use a repair. I know we're so close to that final repair, but... Yikes. Okay, so the problem with the ship right now is that it actually has good weapons, and it's kind of taken my eye off the ball with what we should do in terms of boarding anymore. Is he even human canonically, Captain Crunch? It's a valid question. Let's go ahead and just buy the faster cooldown, because if crews on enemy ships are getting stronger at this rate, we need to be able to get our people back. We won't buy more power, though, because we want to depend on backup. Actually, I'm not really going to need much more than that. I'm always going to want these last power bars, so we'll do that. Okay. I am happy with this. Can you take over another ship? Unfortunately, no, but wouldn't it be cool if you could? Young Mantis on a charred uniform begs for sanctuary from the NG. Uh, but side with the fugitive and fight the NG ship. Ooh, we got a free Mantis! We Hooray, good. Uh, unfortunately, he is good with shields. Are you already good with shields, though? I'm still going to use him for boarding, just because he's a Mantis. Uh, they've taken out our drones. Not really too big a deal. Uh, this should be a joke, though, to go on this ship. Assuming they don't have any crazy types of crew... Do they have anything good in the way of weapons? I might want to hit them with one round... Let's just see what they have aboard their ship. I'm going to hit their clone bay. Once I take them out, I want them dead once and for all. Yeah, this is a very weak crew. This should be a quick fight. Oh, wait a minute. I might not want that happening all the time. Anything else we could go after? Nah, not really with the flak. I guess I could have shot them over at once. 
Good, our crew's doing good. We, I mean, we've got seven crew. That wasn't such a bad thing to lose. One guy. I'm sad it was such a high level dude, but you know, he was good at combat, so. It is what it is. And now we have, now this gives us another opportunity for more mantis. This is this, this, this mantis time. If only we get a fourth mantis, but oh well. Yeah, that was a lot of defense drones. I'm surprised that our missile actually got through there so fast. In retrospect, I should have sent over the flak simultaneously. Uh, I think we go over here just to see what our other options are. I'm also like... Did I take more damage in that fight, or is it just me? Uh, nope. Ignore. We're gonna get repaired as soon as we get to the exit, but... I'm willing to see what's in a store. Or there might be something that we could sell now. Shield, combat drone. Not really going to do anything else with this for the final fights. Hmm. Stealth weapons. Weapon pre-ignator. Automated reloader. You know, this might be more useful than automated reloader. Although... I feel like the boarding drone is going to become kind of irrelevant in the last fights, but I, I said that before and it was like famous last words. Definitely not these things. Explosive re... We already have got that. We've already got an explosive replicator. I don't know if they stack so you just get infinite, but I don't think we'll have any problem with that anyway. Clone bay. I mean, we just are going to lose some crew in the last fight too. It's, it's bound to happen. Fourth shield. Yeah, fourth shield would be pretty necessary here. Uh, what was the other thing, though? Stealth weapons. Stealth weapons would prevent... Well, we'll still get that first barrage. Explosive replicator. Uh, I want to keep my explosive replicator. I want to keep my weapon pre-igniter. I don't... I personally can't use the clone bay, because you can't heal mid-combat, right? I mean, unless if you have certain augmentations. Uh, you know, I'm not heavily relying on this cloak. Like, I use it every now and then, but I think 10%. 25. Well, I won't actually be repair. I might repair a little bit, though. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to repair a little bit because I don't think that they fully repair in the next one. I'm not positive about that, but I, I'm going to take a little bit of repair. Then we'll go ahead and do... Do, 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 do. Uh, we definitely want a little bit more pilot. Pilot is important. Do we have any door levels? We don't have any door levels. I don't feel comfortable going into the last fights with no door levels. So let's go ahead and get the doors. Because those don't require any power at all. We've already got level 3 on teleport. That's good. We aren't really very reliant on our dodge here. We could be very vulnerable to missiles, although I'm very confident in our crew. Ooh, another opportunity at a distress beacon as well. Um, okay, I will do one of those before we exit. Everyone is healed. Uh, teleporter. Cool. Take them to the nearby... Oh, cool. They repaired 10 of our hull points. We didn't really need that, but whatever. It's fine. Cool. Exit. All right. Feeling better about the final fights now. Uh, um, nope. Leave. There we go. Next sector. Oh, wait a minute. We have a whole other sector. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I totally forgot. I thought that we were one... I thought that, that was the second to last one. Wow, we are in way better shape than I thought we were if we have one entire sector left. Oh, thank God. We are very well prepared then. Uh, I'm actually not going to give these people fuel because I don't want to get... I don't want to get caught at the very end without fuel, so just sorry. Because that would put me with like, what, six fuel level? Well, five after I do the next jump. Nope, you're screwed. Sorry about that. It just happened to me the last time. I'm trying to avoid disaster. Potential disaster. Sorry, you guys are toast. 
Whoops, I stealthed too late, but... Wow, oh, that was such a botched play. Um, I'm gonna go for shields and then for flak. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, look at that. I could board it. Yeah, I mean, there's really no reason not to board. I've got so much free boarding potential right now anyway, so let's just do it. Cool. I mean, there should be no fight where we don't board anymore with our drone. I don't know why I have power on there. Hang on a second, I'm not gonna board this thing with my crew. Although I could board it with my crew, I just... I know I'm gonna make a mistake. I did it the last time. It was so dumb, I died horribly. It's just execution, I don't even trust my... I would rather save you and me that amount of micromanaging for the final fight. I guess I could farm shields... Ah, eh, never mind, it's too late now. We'll just let the bot take out the rest of them. I get a little bit more experience on... Oh, no, no, we don't even have anyone on guns. Then that automated reloader does help, since we don't actually have a gunman on this ship, I'm just beginning to realize. Uh, okay, another store. Uh, I'm not trying... Like, debating on if we even need any store for anything anymore. I'll go to it just for a thing to do. All right, yeah, and I want to keep my options open later on. All right, uh, ooh. Although I already basically have everything I want. I, I mean, I like another flak gun, but I, I don't have the money. <laughs> I wish I had the money for that. Uh, multiple flaks is a little overrated. Like, having the one missile and the one flak is good enough. I am slightly sad, although I could get another crew member. Um, what are you good at? Oh, we could get a gunman, actually. Hang on a second. I may actually want to buy the gunman. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy the gunman. Not bad. Uh, he's good at fighting, too. Mike Weston. Oh, yeah, I could jump back later. Ooh. Nah, not a bad idea. Just get another flak. I'm trying to think, though. Would we just be better off with just taking the gunman? Gunman is a good option. I think they're both good options, so there's that. I'm just thinking if we're going to have enough to power up all of our other systems. Two flax. You know what? I'm going to avoid it just because I want to be very careful as I shoot the enemy ship. Two flak guns and a pegasus. I'm probably going to get my own crew killed. And it's very good to have extra crew in the mind control portion of the fight, so I'm going to go ahead and take the, my, the uh, gunman. Mike Weston. That just sounds like an actor or something like that. Oh, I forgot to rename all of my other people. Oh, yeah, what do we need? Uh, blue beard, green beard, uh, orange beard, and uh, purple beard. Um, uh, more like... Um, uh, we have JV Dones. Oh, we didn't have Spack Jaro. Yeah, there we go. Spack Jaro. Uh, we need other ones. Uh, let's see. Uh, Longbeard. What, what do you name a bug that's a... Uh, root beard. <laughs> I like that. Root beard. <laughs> very funny. And um, Captain Swallows. I like that. That's very funny. Captain... Swallows. There we go. He swallows. Uh. <laughs> na 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 na. Woo. Uh. Then we'll go ahead and <laughs> go over here. Now they all have piratey names. <laughs> That's so funny. Um. Oh my gosh. This ship is actually rather threatening. Um. I feel like I need more power. Good thing that I actually have it. Uh, give me a minute. I think I'll take the, turn that off. We will send on a boarding drone and uh, turn back on the turn back on the cloaking. We will then board in their shield compartment. Man, they got a lot of crew and somebody on the pilot too. Okay, they're going to shoot us with many a laser. 
like momentarily. So let's go ahead and just wait until one fires. Okay, now cloak. 95%, great timing. Honestly, great timing. Uh, is that the whole crew? Who is left? Oh god, there's still so many people left in here. But I, I don't want to shoot the ship. I guess I could have shot the weapons, actually. Yeah, I will shoot the weapons once. Okay, get my crew out of there. Just to prevent them from doing more damage to my ship. And then, uh, get everybody back. Just... I can't tell even what's going on. There's, like, too much going on in there. Ooh, they are currently shooting our ship. Hang on a second. Power up that. They did a lot of damage to our ship. Oh, it was the damn drones and the ionization that did that. Hang on a second. You go over there. There's such a weird moment because the screen is the screen is still glowing blue. Oh, come on. How is their ship really that strong? We got ionized on our shields, too. What a waste. Man, we're going to lose a lot of health before this. And my boarding drone is over there. What is that? Anyway, I'm trying to tell those two guys. How are they so good at combat? Ah, uh, no, man. We got to get our guys healed up. We aren't even going to be ready to teleport in a second. The healing... The, oh, do they have a healing... No, they don't even... Oh, this is the heal... Oh, we were in the healing bay itself. Okay, then let's shoot missiles at it. Good. Get it done. We're just gonna have to take a lot of damage here. Uh, we got ionized, unfortunately. We got ion... We, we done been ionized. It's because I have two conflicting strategies for what I think I'm supposed to be doing. I think I'm just gonna have to jump... I gotta go back to the store to repair now. Wait, hang on a second. Oh yeah, clo why didn't I think of cloaking a second ago? Jesus. Ah, thank you for that. Hang on a second, let me just see if I can just blow them up with one Pegasus shot. Okay, I'll accept their offer and then we jump out of here back to the store. Thank you for that, oof. I completely forgot to cloak that entire flight. How did I miss that? Smiler Gaming TTV. Thank you very much. Just saved us the run. Unfortunately, not enough to uh, pay for the flak, but we can fix all. Or fix a lot. There we go. Good. Okay. Um. Okay, I do have a rock crew member. That much is good. Uh, but my doors are malfunctioning right now on top of everything else. Uh, also you go in there. Also you go in there. And you go for the oxygen. You go in, uh, actually just stay over there and I will- Nope, I can't open the doors, never mind. No one's dying though, no one's dying. Go in there, rock man, save the oxygen. Okay, I think we good now. Oxygen only at orange, so we're not actually losing oxygen. Great. Okay. Nice. Whew, that was horrible. Horrible. Wow. Uh, I kind of want another level of doors now. Do we have this? We do have the second level of doors even. Ooh, that was rough. That was very rough, that fight. And we had such a full crew, too. We haven't even been boarded yet. I... We'll be very afraid of what happens when they brainwash Neckbeard or Blackbeard because I don't have a mind control system. I'm going to need to do just an insane amount of micromanaging in the final fight. I hate to do that, but, you know, I kind of have to. Otherwise, the entire run is compromised. I think I need more power in our ship. I need just dependable systems because I was, like, prioritizing what to put where. Yeah, let's buy another power bar. Okay, cool. Now I can turn that off the med bay. Uh, get it on flak. Yeah, I did need it. Alright, whatever. Back to positions. 
Hey, collector of stuff. Thank you very much for the very kind words. Yeah, let I let the rebels live. I wonder if they're still there. Yeah, we've been waiting for you to come back and repair yourself. Hmm. Okay, I will visit... No, I hate nebulas. I'm not even going to... I just don't want anything, like, very bad to happen. That took me by surprise. I almost feel like, even though that the temptation to board fast and just take them all out really fast is there, I feel like I should just disable a few systems that are going to kill me with Pegasus and the flak gun before I go in. Just because, I mean, they were shooting us with missiles and drones and everything like that, and I, I just wasn't thinking straight there. Okay, everyone goes back there, and then... Wow, this is a pretty pathetic intruder attempt. Uh, how awful. Although I guess that they're like higher level or something, right? That was a joke. Okay, um, Captain Swallows, go back to the med bay, and Neckbeard, meet him in there for some medical coverage. And then we'll get you all back in shape in no time. Good! Everyone's happy. Uh, we'll make our way out over here and then to the exit. Oh yeah, they're med bay too. Oh, there's so many systems when you're boarding that you don't normally shoot, that you kinda gotta shoot. This looks like a horrible fight. Uh, I will power up the boarding drone immediately. Alright, uh, I don't know if what I think of doing that with backup power, but whatever. Uh, we won't be boarding at all, so we'll take that power right back. Uh, now, but I'm stuck with that on there, though. Uh, I think it'll get diverted if it if anything goes awry. Um, I think first off we got to take down their weapons because that's the source of a missile. Very scary. Or right, let's see where the drone goes. Uh, not where I wanted the drone at all. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll go for that, and then we'll shoot the flak at. Uh, the flak is going to be kind of useless, because I, I want to go straight for the guns right here, but... Oh no! That was the worst thing that could have possibly happened. Well, we do fortunately still have a cloak. Cool. Okay, my cloak puts me up to 100%. Nice. Sweet. That cloak is useful. You gotta have a cloak in store. Okay, Pegasus, just try again and don't mess up this time. Please, for Pete's sake, that was an amazing hit. Good job, Pegasus. This is the worst possible spot for the boarding drone. Um, okay, ooh, you actually go in there and help him repair those shields right now, mister. Uh, okay, now I think we go in for the shields with Pegasus, and then we shoot the flak at the other systems, especially those drones. Okay, now we go in for the drones. Sweet, sweet. We got one of them offline. The beamy one is no longer threatening to kill us anymore. Okay, Flak. Flak can go in again against the shields. Okay, we got the engines that time, but still equally acceptable. Uh, I want to save these if I can. Let's go for that drone. Sweet. Okay. All right, a pretty good combat, a pretty good combat. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll still be able to make the exit if we go for one more, although we just haven't been performing that well in these fights. Let's go ahead and get the last few power bars, because just... The way I've been diverting power has been weird. And it makes me uncomfortable. The fuel is... Uh, no, we'll be okay on fuel because they give us more fuel at the end, but you're right, it is a little sketchy. Hmm. Once I explore everything in the base game, is there any chance of me trying mods? Absolutely, I will go after the mods. I still have, like, 20 playthroughs. I can, I'm can. i trying to play as much of the game as slowly as I can because I want to get through all of the content. Thank you, Strider. W weird Lord. Hmm. Piloting is good. Cameras I, it might be nicer to get a little bit more, but this is fine. 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 I might want this a little bit higher just due to boarding. Especially for the final fights with um, mind control. Oh, I think let's just get one power bar for now. 
one power bar, and then we'll put that onto something. That's decent. The backup power is acceptable there. Good. I've earned this victory when I get it. Uh, I didn't want another automated fight. Please hit this time, Pegasus. Good. Wow, that was an amazing start to the fight. Thank you so much. Not really the place I would have wanted the boarding drone, but whatever. At least it gives us an opportunity to... Oh, hang on a second. You have to um, get some health care. Well, whatever. We'll do it after this fight. You need the experience right now more. Okay, after that I will shoot that with Pegasus. And then we'll go in for the Flak. Very nice. Very nice. Shield's totally down. Now we can go for their drones. Don't even need to use up any more missiles. 30 missiles before the last few fights. I'm doubling up that number because of the 50% chance. Uh, is actually great. And we'll just leave this here for experience on shields. Great. Nice. That's a lot of scrap. That's a lot of scrap, man. Good job. Good job, me. I don't know why. I'm like complimenting. It's really meant for my crew, but... Uh, useless offer. Okay, last stand. Here we go. Mantis Cruiser Layout Type C. I've unlocked it. Sweet. I've not tried that yet. Well, obviously, because I just... Well, I guess I could have unlocked it in another game. Uh, decent layout. Actually did get some repair stations. Might have even wanted a few more encounters. I think here we go ahead and work on... Let's figure out another ship system. Also, Beard Beard needs a heal. What do we want? What do we want? Hmm. Methinks a bit of a longer cloak would not be bad, so that we have time to recharge those weapons. More medic. Yeah, a little more medic might not hurt here either. We don't need weapons. We don't really need uh, this either. A little bit more dodge wouldn't be bad, though I do think we get to 100% dodge as we are. 60, 35. Uh, I'm feeling like the dodge is going to make a bigger difference here. Or if we can get the shields. Although I don't think they'll make it. Let's see how much scrap we get before the final fight. And then we'll make the decision. Just because I feel like a fourth shield would be the most useful thing here. Um, scrap some of the debris. Cool. All right, so now we are at 80. I think we need 80 and 100, so we would need 180. So we would need 250 if we wanted to power that up. Don't love that, but 42%. We're not going to get that much better at evade if we do what we're doing. Um, I think we see if we can get to these two planets here. Yeah, Cloak 3 might be more useful. That's valid. Ooh, they gave us so many goods there. Do we get that in this other place too? I think if we jump here, then here, then back to here, that's going to be our... Unless if he decides to go over there, then we'll just totally miss the end game. Uh, okay, I will go for another repair. That was odd. I don't think I've ever gotten that many goods in a repair place. Okay, let's go over to another repair place just to get more scrap for free. Sweet, sweet. I did not remember that. Wow, we have way too much fuel now. Oh my god, 38 drone parts. I think this is the most stuff I've ever had, and it's extremely useless to me. Basically, you can just put Pegasus on auto-fire now. Uh, Alright, 168. Uh, what is going to make the biggest difference, and do I even need it in part one of the fight? Wait a second, is it headed there now? No, so we will still have one more. Okay, let's see if we can get a bit more scrap. If nothing, then yeah, Cloak might be more useful. That's valid. Yep, we're going for more Cloak. I think two more Cloak, because we're going to be doing a lot of micromanaging. Oh yeah, the backup battery. That would be an easy way out of going for more power. Um, although the cycling kind of throws me off, and the backup power can't be compromised if they hit your ship. 70. What if we did, like... Let me just test out a few things. One more of those. One more of those. Maybe one more on engines and one more on power. So we have full power, engines, and a little bit more to power these two. I actually like that the best. 
for me. Yeah, let me do that. Cool. Um, how do we distribute these before the fight? We want everything on that. Just in case if something happens to our engines and we, like, get lower cloak value. We want to raise our cloak, so we want to get into barrage right at the start of the fight. And then cloak, although I think they will cloak first. So that is rather sad. We leave that at two... Uh, no, we don't want our crew to get trapped over there. Okay, we'll leave the boarding with backup power. That is equally acceptable. Or let's just take one off of our evasion so that we can get full power on the boarding. Yep. Use backup power for the uh, other thing. Okay, I think now we can go to the base and just wait there. Uh, cool. Wait. Woo! I guess we could have gone to the other place too, though, but... I'd rather fight him at the base rather than in rebel territory. Okay, uh... Actually, you know what? I could have jumped further away. That was not the best decision of me. I should have encountered him there, because what if he hacks something bad? Ooh, he's going to hack my crew teleportation. Uh, I will attempt to cloak. Will I be able to get them back, though? That might have been a fatal decision. Um... Ah... Uh... Eh, we could just destroy their hacking. Yeah, I want to wait until I can shoot their medbay. So let's go send over our boarding drone. We'll just power this down. We will power up our boarding. We won't cloak right now. We'll just let it happen. Let it happen. Uh, in the meantime, we could leave people there. No issues with that. No issues with that. Although I might want my rock man to go over to our sensors to go see what's going on there. Okay, obviously, first off in this fight, we basically just have to put everything onto the missiles. Uh, cool. Now we want to... We want to see what's going on over there. Yeah, send over our border. Okay, he's in the main part of the ship. Honestly, that's a bit unfortunate. We're going to let this round hit us, but once they shoot their missiles, then we cloak. Whoops, I got to turn up my evade. Okay, that was just them, so now we cloak. We're at 105% evade. Wait for it. Pegasus is going to go again. That was a huge barrage that we just missed. Cool. Okay, we just got that to red. We do want to see if the guy in there is dead, though. Okay, cool. So that guy is dead, so that's like the really scary part of the fight. Mm, can't really do anything about that. That's bad. Datlisk. Also, thank you very much for the sub. Yeah, we do want to leave one guy alive. If we kill the entire crew, then the automated system will take over. Uh, they've killed our border. How did they kill our border? Their crew must be pretty high level, actually. Hmm. Okay, yeah, now they can't really... They can't really hurt us, actually, anymore. I mean, as soon as they've gotten rid of it, the Well, they can, but it would be very difficult for them to. Why would you do that? Okay, now I'm going to cloak for ions. I don't like ions. Who does like ions, after all? Who in their right mind would like that? All right, I think we've basically, like, neutered their ship now. Now we can go for their shields. Uh, or rather, let's go... Eh, we could go for hacking. Although the thing is that I don't want my crew to get kidnapped. So boarding honestly is kind of useless here. Because if they leave with your crew on board, it's kind of a waste. Uh, I just feel like the boarding isn't really that useful anymore right here. Yeah, oh well. Okay, we'll go for their shields. Not super scary, but, you know, it is what it is. Does fire do hull damage? Um, eventually, but I think it, it won't for this part now. It's a good question. Oh, man, they just totally camouflaged. Or cloaked. Yeah, it, it destroys the subsystem. Um, I want to say that sometimes it does damage, though. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm trying to remember when it's happened to me. Yeah, there we go. So they do... 
take the damage and then go away. I'm just thinking if we're even going to use boarding at all now. If I even feel safe. Like, pick the slowest guy to move across the ship in the middle of the fight. Uh, okay, so we have 36 scrap to play around with. Um... I'm feeling like sensors would be nice, or med bay. Med bay would probably be more functional for the final part of the fight, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, yep, follow him back. Ah, uh, good, we've got all the pre-igniting on. Okay, this is the, perhaps the scariest part of the fight. So we're going to send Pegasus straight in for their missiles, because that is scary. I think I will board them. Like, immediate- well, we will send over a boarding drone, see where that ends up, and then we will use regular power and maybe a little bit of uh, backup power. Do I want to? No, I'll use the backup power for my engines. Um, put that on the med bay, I guess, just because we don't have anything else. Yeah, we, we do- we have the one drone. Well, they have the defense drone, too, so that could be problematic here. But it's going to have so many things to choose between. I think I'm going to send the flak missiles out as well. We will cloak when we need to, and then we will send in our crew just for a quick boarding. Maybe I could go for these systems, but I think I'm going to go for the drones just to take that threat. Oh, no, they're med bay. Eh, you know what would actually be a, an equally good solution here would be if we just sent over two Mantis to this room and just killed this guy immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Yeah, good. Oh wait, there's not even anyone in there. I stand corrected. Uh, okay, oh, I forgot that they have a boarding drone as well. Uh, nonetheless, I'm not really gonna do anything. That means that it's good that I left my crew here. Let's raise the amount of healing in this room. Uh, not really anything I want to take power off of right now. Whatever, they're healing normally. And we've got a rock in there, too. Ooh, great! You went into the pike beam room. Nice, I like that. Wait for the missile, and then as soon as that's fired, then we're gonna camouflage. Or for the drone swarm. Oh god, wait a minute, what just got through? Oh, wait, no, okay, missiles are down. Uh, yeah. Teleport our crew back, first off. Yeah, I know our oxygen is... Well, actually, our oxygen is only oxygen. <laughs> I'm saying it with, like, a Boston accent somehow. Um, you guys go and repair the oxygen. We're back. We've basically taken off their three main weapon systems now. It's just their drones that I'm worried about. I might not even board again. Okay, you two go in and repair that thing. Let's also open up the rooms in the ship just to disperse that oxygen out a little bit better. We actually want the oxygen. Okay, now there is the drone swarm, so let's go ahead and camouflage. We don't want to kill too much more crew here either, so that is another thing to consider. Uh, how are we going to get missiles past this thing, though? Unfortunately, our crew is really good at fending off these, uh... Whoops, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. You two go in there. They'll still be fine against this. Yeah, Rootbeard. Rootbeard. Wait a second, Rootbeard, you aren't really that good a fighter. You go in there. Help him. Help your man out. Pegasus can stop shooting for that. Let's go for their missiles now. Or actually, their shields. Ah, uh, wait, I'm saying everything wrong. They're drones. I just want all the threats eliminated, like, immediately. Okay, their crew is going to go repair that, so while they're distracted, then we go for the shields, then we send in our flak missiles. Jesus. Yikes, that's a lot going on. For some reason, I'm going to turn on backup power. I don't really know why. I'm just, I'm out of thoughts for right now. Uh, you two go back into the med bay. Please don't die. There is a drone swarm right now. I am cloaking. All right. I just heard something get, like, skimmed off. What was that? Please, boarding drone. Can I, can I actually kill my own boarding drone? I'm going to have to shoot my own boarding drone if I want it to go somewhere else. 
Sadly. Right, you two... Ah, man, these boarding drones are a real pain. This is what I don't like about hybridized strategies, is that it makes the final battle just like ten times more confusing. Try to shoot that with Pegasus, and also shoot the flak at the same time in case of any, like, defense missiles. Ah, that was so close again. Shoot the med bay and board them. I could do that in a last ditch effort. Yikes. Okay, cool, everything is down now. Um... Cool. All right, I think we're pretty much done with this ship. That's all she wrote. All right, I will just use missiles to speed on the end their incoming demise. Why am I shooting the med bay? I don't know anymore. I don't even know who I am anymore. Oh wait, why is Root... Oh, because you're in the deoxygenated room. Thank God that they added that sound effect, otherwise I would very much die. Man, they keep boarding me. Jesus Christ, how do they have this many drones on their ship? Okay, now I'm cloaking again. Oh no, he's fighting an NG. Go in there. Go in there, help that NG out. Actually, you two get in there too. Phew, the reason I'm not sending in the crew, I might send in the crew for the last part of the battle, but just the amount of stupidity that is at hand when I play the second to last battle and the third to last battle, I always lose track of something, and I know they're going to teleport away with my crew. It's happened to me multiple times. So I don't really trust myself with it. Uh, although I guess, yeah, med bay and then crew teleport would work, and then, like, you leave the pike beam guy away. That could work. I think the last time I played, I accidentally reactivated their automated systems, which can be really bad. All right, I have 30 left. Uh, what else could I invest this into? I think my only option here is sensors. So yeah, we'll do sensors. Cool. All right, sensors isn't bad. It makes the fight a little bit more like stimulating. Uh, who are they going to brainwash on our ship though? I'm thinking about that. Let's get our med bay ready. We'll probably board them again, too. With our boarding drone. I would like to board the ship, though, because I haven't done it. Although I also want to kill both missile people. I know I'll be... F yeah, I will indeed be 4v1-ing whoever it is. Okay, good. They... Seem to have brainwashed an NG, although it's not really the one I would have wanted. Um, what am I going to do here in this fight? I need a strategy before I go in. Normally I just have mind control for this fight. Spack Jarrow has been mind controlled. I don't want him to take out our engines because that would be a disaster. Although we have pretty beefy engines, so he's not going to be able to get through them all. Delete their med bay and board. Yeah. I will give it a shot. We don't need to power that. We could take down one power off that. I mean, he's bound to destroy it anyway. Oh god, wait, they boarded us. Uh, hang on a second. Before we're even able to board, let's just kill these two. We're gonna have such an easy time with their crew, but we want to leave one alive. We gotta be very careful in this fight. Whoops. You two go in there. Oh, I totally forgot to cloak right there. Is that game over? Is that, like, game over right there? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I got a second. That was pretty bad. How did they set so many fires on our ship? I feel like I don't have my head screwed on right today. Okay, you two are just gonna die, so let's just focus on- No, we don't even need to do anything over here. These really aren't that bad systems to get hit. Oh wait, no, the cloaking is horrible to get hit. Uh, I'm a little bit dead right now. I'm a little bit dead. We still have one cloak for the super laser, that's true. We want to prevent this room from taking any more damage. I'm gonna send in my rock before the oxygen runs out. And I will leave the doors open. You two stay in here. I should have thought about defense before I was thinking about attacking them. I got sidetracked and it's going to get me killed. Uh, I will leave my oxygen on like that. 
I no longer have cloak. I am dead. I am very dead. And our engine guy has turned against us. Ooh, jeez, Louise. Uh, hmm. Okay, as soon as they put out those fires, please don't hit us, missiles. Please don't hit us. I think if they can put out the fires there... Okay, the shields are down. I'm gonna go ahead and say we board immediately at Laser Town. Just because I'm already shooting at that thing. Oh, and we also have our boarding... Oh, I forgot about the goddamn board. No, I just had to Zoltan shield I had to get through. Okay, we close these two doors so that these guys still have oxygen. We turn up the oxygen, refurbishing... Refurbishing, whatever I mean, to the max. These two guys board so that we take out their laser. We take out their rockets. That guy's back to normal. Wait a minute. Why aren't you trying to repair your own system? Maybe it is already still working, to be fair. Okay, we're gonna get hit. Again. We could jump. I'm not gonna jump, I guess. Cool, where did our um, boarding drone land? Oh, our boarding drone is now offline because our drone system is just offline. Great. Uh, you shield man, get in and repair the drone area. Get those damn cloaks ready again. I've just horribly mismanaged this entire fight. Come on, guys, get done with that laser beam, please. Can we please finish the laser beam area? Cool. Okay, we got rid of the rockets. Cool, we're about to get one cloak. Oh, we're going to be like a millisecond off. Oh, no. Oh, why? Anyone but me. Which mantis has got to move? Oh, wait a minute. Our, uh, our rock man. Ooh, I missed that. He got brainwashed. It's all right. He's just a mantis. We were going... I told you we were going to lose crew if we didn't have brainwashing. I'm prepared for this. Fortunately, we've taken out their missiles. Uh, what else do we need to do? Let's go ahead and shoot their mind control, too, because that is really messing with our crew. Uh, the right there, he is not in such good shape. Uh, we can close these doors again. Do I even want to? I think I'm like this. This is the beauty of not having mind control in your run, guys. Look at it. Blackbeard, get out of there. I think you can still survive for a second. NG, get out of that... Uh, no, wait a minute. You there, go to that room. Try to repair the shield bay. Please. I mean the uh, mid bay. You just try to re try to do some repairing, for God's sake. Man, this is really the worst time I've ever had in this fight. I hate this. Okay, you guys can get off of that ship, though. I need my crew back. Um, you two are in there. That looks good. Okay, I think we will pull through now. Yeah, we definitely want the sensors. Uh, we do, we do. Rock is not such a bad guy to get. Hang on a second. You two go back there, because we definitely need these now. He's somewhere in this part of the ship. We've taken down their mind control. Okay, I think we're going to win again. I had my doubts there for a minute. I don't want to turn on their automated systems, though. Let's go for the shields. He's either going to be in the piloting section or something else. We're going to take another hit there, but nobody died. Wow. I'm surprised that none of our crew have died. Okay, take down their shields. Actually, take down their engines, for God's sake. Cool. You go repair the backup battery. Everything is repaired, and we're happy again. Okay, do not kill that enemy crew member. Just let him live his stupid life out trying to fix things. Uh, no. Okay, go for the mind control again, because that is annoying. No, Neckbeard and Rootbeard are fighting. Stop, please. I'm just going to cloak now before he destroys the system while we still can't get in. Man, mind control really is important late game. I'm going to send in a big meat shield there so that he doesn't destroy that in time. Okay, cool. Back to normal. 
There we go, that's good. You just need a big rock crew member to distract your mind-controlled people. That's good now. Sweet. Okay, everyone go back to positions. Everyone go back to your positions now. Except you two go in there to heal. Sweet. Okay, finally, a perfect dodge. Considering that I've basically... done this fight perfectly every single time I've done it in the past. This was not an easy one. Just due to the lack of mind control. And the fact that our crew is so good and when they take over our crew and their minds... Man, I didn't even... Oh, I did board technically, but only the isolated sections. I feel like I messed it up, but... I mean, it wasn't an easy ship. I, it looked it looked easier than it was. Just it goes so hard into the boarding. Anyway, after maybe four defeats, finally a victory in FTL. Uh, we did unlock Type C of the uh, of the Mantis Cruiser. Definitely not my. B that was a horrible score. But it's over. It's over. <laughs>